Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Today we're going to talk about Windows 11. As you know, Microsoft announced and is now rolling out the Windows 11. I'm going to talk a little bit about the requirements and everything. And at the end of the video, I'm going to do an upgrade on my personal desktop. I'll go from Windows 10 to Windows 11. I'm going to react to what I think of Windows 11 after that. The feedback right now from what I've heard is good because Windows 11 brings a huge change in the Microsoft operating system. Windows 11 was announced sometime in 2021 and the beta version had been running for a couple months and finally on October 5th 2021 Microsoft started the rollout of Windows 11 to customers as you know Windows is being used by millions or even billions of customers around the world so rolling out a new upgrade like this requires a lot of attention that's why they go slowly they go gradually so i received my notification at the end of december telling me that my pc was able i mean was ready to be upgraded so they go slowly depending on the network because rolling out a big upgrade like this requires a lot of capacity this is like a five gigabyte of data that each windows computer need to download in, in in order to install this you may have not received uh, this notification yet i understand exactly how this kind of operation can take time because if you want to roll out you need to make sure that your infrastructure is able to support it you don't want all the millions of windows computer downloading this upgrade at the same time that will break the network it will create a lot of congestions just like one of the service providers that i was working in the past the cdn network of that provider was hosting all the episodes of game of thrones so hbo was one of the customers of that uh, cdn provider so i remember every time there was a new episode of game of thrones available on um it was usually sunday night a lot of people were online including me watching our um, system watching all the links that we have between cities and making sure everything was running fine and those links that were saturated like above 90 percent had to be upgraded the following week before the next episode so this is something that big companies like microsoft had to do gradually just to make sure everything works fine and nothing breaks and usually consumers start first and companies will follow later if you work for a company where you have windows 10 now it may take a while for you to upgrade to windows 11 because usually companies are last to adopt uh, some upgrades like this they need to make sure everything is stable and working fine before deploying windows 11. to upgrade to windows 11 or to receive a notification like I did, you need to have Windows 10 that is current and your system or your computer need to meet some minimum requirement from Microsoft. And the requirements, look at your processor, look at your RAM. Oh, by the way, talking about processors, not all the processors qualify for this upgrade. There is a list of selected processors that are approved for this upgrade. And I was shocked and surprised that my laptop that I showed you last time in a video where I was upgrading the RAM on it, going from 16 to 32, cannot qualify for the Windows 11 upgrade. I bought that computer in 2015, and to me, 2015 sounds like yesterday, but it's actually been seven years because we are now in 2022. So unfortunately, I cannot upgrade that laptop to Windows 11, which is not a big deal because on that computer, I primarily run VMware Workstation. So all the VMs are inside Workstation. I don't really do a lot with the Windows uh, 10 itself. So you need to have at least one gigahertz of processor. You also need to have at least four gigabytes of RAM and you need to activate the TPM 2.0. The TPM is a module or a technology that is being used to ensure security on your hardware. A TPM chip is a secure crypto processor that is designed to carry out cryptographic operations. So you need to make sure that your computer has it activated before you can upgrade to Windows 11. So now let's go to the upgrade. I'm going to do it on this desktop here. By the way, to to do that and record everything i specifically bought this ninja atomos here this is an external recorder that i bought because i want to give you professional quality videos here so if you like what i do if you appreciate what i'm doing here sharing all the project with you please like the video on youtube and share it with your community also follow me on facebook instagram and twitter send me a message i usually respond to all the messages that i receive from you guys thank you so much and if you are studying for the ccna exam i have a ccna course on kbtrainings.com that goes from zero to engineer that course is just mind-blowing a lot of good quality lessons that you can use to study and get ready for your exam so visit kbtrainings.com for that course all right let's go ahead and do the upgrade all right so now we're going to do the upgrade i'm going to click on download and install and of course we have the software license terms that we need to read and accept as usual so i click on that and let's see what happens 
all right so now it's downloading and we're going to give it some time and after this i think it's going to install and uh yeah all right so it's done downloading now it's installing as you can see we are at 35 percent and uh yeah let's give it more time the installation tool will also scan your hardware to make sure you are ready for the install and in my case there is a software that's going to come up and i'll have to um to deinstall it from my system or making sure that i have a version that is compatible with windows 11. in my case i'm going just to uh, to deinstall that piece of software before continuing with the with the upgrade this is the software that i was talking about so i'm just going to remove it from the system and then continue with the upgrade after that i also had to disable the pause that was put on the updates in my system and i did some research and after that i was able to um, go here and disable it so if you have any issue just do some research and you should be fine so sometimes you you have some things that come up that you didn't plan for so you just go on google and try to google the error that you have and find a solution to it so that's what I did now. Now I have to restart the computer. So I'm going to click on restart and it's going to restart. Um, we actually have a lot of restarts until the end of the, the upgrade itself. So after restarting it, we can see that it's installed at 100%. I have to do another restart for everything to be complete. That will take a while as well as you're going to see. So let's go ahead and restart it again. Okay, it's restarting. And there's also this process here that's going to take a while to finish everything all the way to 100% and it's going to restart again. I'm going to cut this short and just give you the main, uh, the main steps. As you can see here, it says your computer is going to restart a few times all right so let's go back in and oh okay this looks good looks pretty clean the background at least even though i usually put a black background here um let's see what the okay this is good this looks good um clean and all of that my, i have my name right there these are the options to shut down restart and everything it all moved and uh yeah we have the taskbar here and I think it's a little too big dust bar, but uh, we probably have an uh, option to um, to make it smaller. Let me try to do a search here. Yep, search for updates. It looks good. And we have some updates that we can download and install, which is okay. And we have all the different options on the side here. Um, so for the taskbar, if I want to reduce the size of the taskbar, I think I should go, okay, I did a right click here, taskbar setting. And where can I reduce the size? I think this is too big. Um, task view, widgets, chats, pen menu, I don't need it, I don't have a pen. Um, touch keyboard, virtual touchpad. How do you manage the overflow? Choose the icon that may appear in the taskbar corner. Uh, I'll do it later. Behavior. Automatically hide taskbar. I don't like this. Uh, show badges. So select the four corner of the desktop. Yeah, that's fine. Apparently, there's no way to reduce the the size of the taskbar. Um, or I'll check it later. So under personalization, I can change the theme. Okay, nice. I usually like dark themes so let's make it all dark nice perfect uh, i mean nothing is perfect <laughs> all right uh behavior uh, background image slideshow and so on oh this is fine i can go with this yeah this one looks dope but i'll do it later uh let's go under Theme, lock screen, start menu, taskbar. I was just there. All right. I mean, um, I have to use it and uh, I'll come back to you and tell you what I think. What is this? Oh, okay. I can reduce the size of the screen and choose if I want it to be like nice. Okay. 
see we have a lot of options i have a lot to discover in this new operating system and uh i will definitely come back with a video um telling you what my experience is and how it's been for me like if i want to put it right at this corner i can just do this and i have uh, i can open other applications on these other spots okay um this actually took me longer than expected it took me almost three hours um, i mean i was not actively doing it but i had to wait for it and do some changes if you are doing an upgrade be prepared to spend more time than you think because something can come up and you you need to be able to resolve it so do don't do it in a hurry because you might be disappointed all right but after the upgrade everything looks good uh, looks good it looks clean and i'm happy with the result i'm going to give you the feedback a um, few months down the road um if i have to i think i will thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and also follow me on facebook instagram and twitter i'll see you in the next video take care and bye